Krishna has innumerable qualities. There is no possibility of listing the qualities of Krishna. There is a very nice expression in the Bhagavatam. Prabhupada explains in uh, English. If you take all the atoms of the universe, you take all the planets, all the stars, all the galaxies and crush them into atoms. Now to each atom of the universe, you tag a quality of Krishna. Now, you go on doing that, you would have exhausted all the atoms and still there will be so many more qualities of Krishna and no atoms to tag them with. So that is the that is the scope or the vastness of qualities of Krishna. So when Bhagavatam presents Krishna, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu presents Krishna, this is what he is offering. Because there is an inherent uh, wish in all of us that we are looking for somebody adorable and we want to offer our adoration to that personality. But in ignorance, we find somebody of this material world, a limited personality. With, because of our limited conception, our limited understanding, and we identify and we spend our lives adoring and glorifying and worshipping that personality. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is offering, here is a person and he is worshipable. He is supremely worshipable. He is Krishna. He is Shriyodhama. He is the reservoir of all beauty. That is the personality. And when you see, when you begin to appreciate his qualities, there is no satiation. 